Late Friday night, I was uh, checking my STL Today phone app, and I saw a story by Tim Logan saying that Boeing's uh, union has approved that contract up in Seattle. What does that mean? Tim Logan joins us via phone from stltoday.com. Good morning, Tim Logan. Hey, how are you, McGrath? Uh, so th- explain this. They went back two or three times to the same union uh, begging for them to sort of pass this, correct? Yeah, more or less. I mean, Boeing always wanted to build this plane in in Seattle. I mean, that that you know, despite all the things that we did here and all the things that happened in a bunch of other places. I mean, Seattle is where they have always built their commercial aircraft, and they have everything that they would have had to build here. They already had there, including thirty thousand really skilled machinists. Um, these guys have been building planes, and they're very good at it. And uh, you know, this whole this all started in November when the machinist union there rejected a contract uh, and Boeing wanted some pretty steep pension changes to the pension plan, pension cuts basically. They shift from a from a you know, from a defined benefit pension to a four oh one K plan. And the union didn't want to do that, so Boeing said, Okay, well we're gonna go chop this thing around. Uh, but their first choice was always to, to be able to strike a deal with the union and that's what finally happened on and, Friday night. But the union on Friday passed something that they had rejected earlier, right? It was the same plan. It was a bit better. Uh, Boeing, you know, came back. What happened was Boeing went out, they got all these offers. 22 states uh, put in bids, including Missouri and Illinois. And um, and after and the day that happened, Boeing went back to the bargaining table with their union and said, we got 22 states that want to build this thing. We'll give you a, you know, they bumped up the signing bonus. They improved the dental insurance. They made a few small changes. It was it was a mildly better contract, but not much of a better contract. Uh, and you know, and and then they they, they made their case. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, Tim, you wrote or somebody, I think it was you, uh, were commenting on that. It was interesting when they scheduled the vote over the Christmas and New Year break. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, right. Boeing shuts down for two weeks, uh, basically, uh, which is great for them, I suppose. Uh, between. Between Christmas and New Year's, uh, Friday was more or less the last day of Christmas break, and and so they that's when they scheduled the vote. Now, now it wasn't Boeing who scheduled the vote then. There is a lot of tension between this is the International Association of Machinists District in Seattle and the IAM Interna- uh, National Union, which really wanted to keep this work in an IAM facility. Uh, so it was, it was the IAM National who forced this vote, and actually they're the ones who scheduled it on January 3rd. I think because they, they decided that they had to do it, they had to get it done. Right. I'm not sure. You know, but there was some people in Seattle who were concerned that, well, you know, a lot of our workers are going to be, a lot of our workers are still going to be on vacation that day. Right. Um, but they got 25,000 or so of their 31,000 members to vote on this contract, so it seemed to work out at the end. Uh, so what happens now to St. Louis? It, or, or, or has Boeing said that everything is going to be built in Seattle? Is, is Boeing all the big stuff? The, one of the the deal, the terms of this contract was that you know final assembly, fuselage, the wing, which is a pretty big deal, uh, and and a lot of the the large components will be built in the Puget Sound. Now that doesn't mean that they they won't shop out um, uh, smaller support, smaller components. Which, which may wind up here. I mean, that's been something that that Governor Nixon and some of the other folks who are pushing this have said, is that, you know, even if, even if the plane gets built elsewhere, they hope that this is the sort of thing that can put St. Louis on the map within Boeing for more commercial uh, work because they want to get more commercial manufacturing here. Yeah. But most of it's going to be in Seattle. Hey, the $64,000 question, Tim, and I guess this is the question everybody has in mind, Did was St. Louis and the region played? No. I mean... Yes and no. They everybody was played here. I mean, again, St. Louis was far from the only place that that, that did what they did, um, and hoped to get this. And and all of those places were being used as leverage by Boeing. On the other hand, in their negotiations with the union. On the other hand, Boeing, a no vote, Boeing likely would have moved the plant. And and St. Louis was by all by all appearances on the short list of places. And that could get San Luis something down the road. That's what, that's what people your hope. It's like you don't, if you don't try for this, you're never going to get it. Yeah. And and it's it's worth a try. That's a hard that's a hard case to argue with. Yeah. It's also the we also note that the vote that passed was a pretty close vote when it was all said and done, right? It was extremely close. It was 51 percent to 49 percent. And 
you know, some uh, I think the Wall Street Journal reported that the margin of was it was it was less than 600 votes um, difference between the two sides. You know, it, it, this this contract, it's, it, it, there's a whole lot of interesting dynamics going on in Seattle. But you know, basically, a lot of the older workers in the in the union there voted to voted against the contract because they didn't want to, their their pensions to be reduced. A lot of the younger workers who were looking out. You know, ten years from now, and if they're going to have jobs, these jobs weren't going to go away immediately. But over ten years, if that plant moves, they would have. And people who are, you know, in their thirties are saying, "Well, I want to work at this company for another twenty or thirty years." So that that was a lot of split there. But it was a very close vote. Interesting. And, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, really interesting. All right, uh, Tim Logan with uh, SDLToday.com. You can read them every day online. Tim, great, uh, great work as always. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you down the road. Yeah, talk to you later. Thanks, Mike. That's uh, Tim Logan, uh, who uh, covered this uh, Boeing story from uh, soup to nuts, from from uh, from from shall we say, from the fuselage to the tip of the wing. <laughs> See what I did there? A little play on building a plane. Uh, so it looks like uh, they're going to build the 777X back in Seattle. But uh, at least it was a bipartisan effort that uh, got no results. So that's why we shouldn't, uh, that's why the two political parties shouldn't talk to each other. Because nothing ever gets done when, when they do. 728 here, Big 550K.